This is my new Vizio 15.6 inch thin and light. This is the box. Can Vizio fix what years of OEMs have systematically screwed up in the world of Windows? Let's find out. Here's the side of the box. Core i7. Instant on. 15.6 inch screen. 256 gigabyte SSD. Crapware free installation. Okay, off comes the top of the box. There she is. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty thin, all right. Not that light, but uh, it's big too. 15.6, all right. In the box, we have the cords. Nice small, I like that. Small, uh, damn, that's actually impressive. And then you got your quick start books, and that is the whole package right there. Look at that little baby. I think I like that. It's the first 15.6 inch ultra book I've seen. And let me take the uh, plastic off here. I'm kind of wondering what kind of surface this would have and how scratchable it would be. I guess I'll find out. Well, wow, that's impressive. There is a reset button on the bottom. And it's kind of a rubbery feel to the bottom, which is interesting. Looks like uh, aluminum on top. We've got one USB 3.0, which looks a little tilted. So I'll have to see how that... Uh, I'm not saying it's damaged, but it looks a little tilted. We'll have to see how that fits stuff. And then we've got two holes for a headphone power cord, I guess. And on the other side, another USB 3.0 and an HDMI. There is no card reader, but I can live with that. This is tw 12... 1249 and uh, here's the power cord Apple still has them in this department with the uh, the magnet thing I gotta gotta say but it does look like if this thing were to break off it would be uh, easily able to get it out of there and replace it with another cord but that's a pretty solid design right there Alright, time for my favorite part. Open it up and see what kind of garbage is in there. Supposedly none at all. How do I open it? Hmm. Guessing we gotta pull it apart here, right? Yep, there you go. See keyboard. That's a nice big touchpad. And uh try to zoom in on some of those keys. Power button, all that stuff. The F keys, double obviously. If you buy this computer directly from Vizio, it comes with a two-year warranty, which I thought was pretty impressive, at no extra charge. Back on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
9, 10, 11, 12. Twelve seconds to hit the start button. Not bad. How about sleep? Let's force it into sleep mode. Fan still on. Now it's asleep. Tap a key. Nope. Let's try the power button one quick time. Tap the power button. Up it comes. Not bad. Close the lid. Sleep. Open it back up. Go to the lock screen. I think I can turn that part off, but that's that's good. How about the Windows Experience Index? Um, got it this time. Properties. Windows Experience Index 5.1. So, 7.1 on the processor, 5.9 on the RAM. 5.8 on the graphics, 5.1 is the low point on the gaming graphics, and the high point is a 7.9 on the solid state hard drive. Sound test, maybe. Let's see how these speakers do. Fire up the media player, get that out of the way. Right out. Phone line. Okay, I'm not laughing, because I have no mouse. Touchpad is now not working. Let's see if I can figure out what's wrong there. Be back. Pinch to zoom. It's doable. It's actually, you know, pinch to zoom on Windows, I'm guessing because it's bitmap graphics, I don't really know, is notoriously jerky. But this is much better than any pinch to zoom on a Windows computer I've ever seen. So I'm pretty happy about that at the moment. How about scrolling? Um, let's get to another page, like maybe MSN. Pinch to zoom on that. Yeah, not quite as smooth as the Apple, because they got those vector graphics, I think. I don't know what it's all about, really. But, um, not bad. It does the job. You know, I can't complain too much. We'll see how Windows 8 does. I'll be throwing it on here at some point. Um, two finger scroll up and down. No problem. Windows 8, my new best friend. I'm not afraid. Bring it on. Alright, had to do a few updates, that kind of thing. We're going to cold boot, um, dual boot into Windows 8 on the new Vizio PC. One, two, three, four, four seconds to this screen, five, whoa, five second boot, that is insanely impressive actually.
Um, amazing. Five second boot. That's incredible. Okay, more to come.